<laughs> we got Louis C.K. joining the program, and we got to go right to the phone. We got Bill Donahue on the line. Uh, ah, we were talking about the Dakota Fanning movie mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. I guess it's being yeah. shown in Sundance Hound Dog. finally. Yep, Hound Dog, where she gets raped. Yeah. Oh. There's a. They say it's one of the most disturbing scenes to uh, to watch. She's uh, 13 now, but she's 12 in the movie. Um, she gets raped in the movie. Mm. It's a very horrific uh, scene from what they're saying. Uh, very it's difficult to watch. Statutory rape or like? Uh, no, no. This is just violent. You know, no, no bones about it. This one is really bad. Uh, I don't think it's m presented or meant to be presented as something pleasant or nice or anything like that. <laughs> and I read this morning, uh, Bill Donahue, head of the Catholic League, was uh, trying to launch some kind of an investigation into whether any laws were broken. And he got child uh, pornography laws were broken. And we have Bill on the phone. All right, let's say hi to Bill. Bill Donahue from the Catholic League. Hello, How you sir. Guys? How's everything? Hello, Bill. Very good. We're still working. <laughs> How uh... are <laughs> you? You're doing great. Yeah, look at us. You can uh, see Donald Trump. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Donald uh, had a. Uh, we're, we're still sorting that out to see. We, we like getting the facts first before we unload on on people, Bill. Uh, we. I, I was a little surprised about your, your move here. This really doesn't have anything to do with um, the Catholic religion, and that's usually your forte. That's usually when you dive in and uh, and uh, defend the faith, as it were. Uh, but this movie has got you motivated. Well, it, it does, and, and, and also you're quite right about uh, what you just said. It, it's not normally within our orbit, and also you're right, and most of the media today are wrong up on the Drudge Report and all over the world, saying that I've called for a boycott of the movie and asked for it to ban. I never asked for any of that stuff. I don't, I don't know where these reporters uh, get this information. What I've called for is a federal investigation to see whether the child pornography laws have been broken. Now, why did I do it? I don't want to skirt your question. Mm -hmm. We know there's been a problem in the Catholic Church, all right? right. I'm so sick and tired. If we have a real interest in protecting kids and not just in getting priests, then it shouldn't matter whether it's coming out of Hollywood or a priest, an imam, a school teacher, a rabbi, uh, mm -hmm. whoever it is. And I don't like the double standard that we can celebrate. Oh, this is cute. It's artfully done, I'm told. It's a carefully choreographed child rape scene. Uh, look, if in fact child abuse is wrong, then simulated child sex rape, I think, is also wrong. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 when you kind of enter that world of art, though, um, it, it's it's a very uh, tricky situation. Uh, if if done properly, if it's part of a story, uh, no matter how horrific it is, and someone wants to depict it on film, uh, why shouldn't that person have that right to depict well, that art on film? The right. That's why. That's why I object to what's what came out in the, in the the Guardian today in the UK saying I call for the movie to be banned. I never asked for it to be mm -hmm. banned. Now look, I this, this is the way liberals think. Okay, they think this is this is cute. Okay, you can have this. I don't think anybody. Wait, 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 Bill. I don't think anyone's saying this is cute. Uh, all I've ever read about this whole thing is that it's a horrific thing to watch. I don't think it's a comedy. Well, if you, right? if you read Lou no. Luminick this morning in the New York Post, he he tries to say it's it's okay. If you listen to the the chicks on uh, the View yesterday, they tried to say it was okay. Yeah. You know, you know what would bother these people, the Rosie O'Donnells of this world? Let's say the guy was trying to rape the little 12 year old was a black guy, and she would to use the N word right. while while she's getting raped. That would upset liberals, but not the rape scene. That's the way they think. All right, well, well I, I do make, agree with that. He's kind of making that up, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that is kind of up. a long way around that whole thing. Yeah. Um, now, what what is the investigation all about? Because I I would assume. Now I don't know, and and neither do you. Uh, what was going on behind those cameras, and how um, sensitive people were to this child's needs and and uh, protection uh, on the set. Uh, well, there's and, no question. Her mother was there, and and of course we had the uh, teacher slash child social worker holding her hand. That's all very nice, but she's 12 years of age. What happens 30 years from now? Or 20 years from now, she's a middle-aged woman, and she has some problems with this. There have been other women who have been involved in these kind of situations. They've had problems, too. But look, my real interest in this was to create a national discussion. I have no mm -hmm. doubt that the people who are defending this would defend if a 12-year-old being penetrated two years from now. Hollywood's going to keep pushing the envelope. And quite frankly, when you're dealing with kids, it seems to me it should be hands-off. i got to disagree, though. I, I don't think people would be defending real uh, child sex. Depicting something in a movie, not because it's sexy art, like Maplethorpe tries to pull off, 
but because it's an event that occurs. It's like depicting a murder. I mean, it, no mm -hmm. one thinks that a child murder is acceptable, but it is depicted in film. And, and I think that the term art, it not be, again, not to be confused with quote-unquote erotic art, which is made to titillate, but this is something that is an actual awful event that happened. And if it's, if it's handled properly behind the scenes and the kid is protected and there's nothing sexual behind the scenes, it's almost like doing a, a murder. What, what's wrong with it if it's done properly in real time, in, real, in the real world? Well, you make a persuasive case, but here's my response, fellas. Uh, if you have an 18-year-old playing a 14-year-old, okay, I can deal with that. This girl's five mm -hmm. or six years off of a tricycle. She's 12 years of age, and she's doing this. You know, there's a lot of sick men in our society who get a lot of strange ideas from the Internet. I'm not saying that the average guy seeing this movie is going to go out and rape somebody. Of course he's not. But somebody who's inclined to be disturbed, he sees this, he says, hey, it's not only on the Internet, this is my local neighborhood theater. I think it says the wrong message. I think they could have done this movie and got that same effect without exploiting the 12-year-old. Uh, and see, you're saying exploited like it, it is exploitation uh, before you really have all the facts. Uh, and, and, and from what you say, there are guys that can grab a, a, a catalog for children's clothing and go off on a, a tear outside their uh, yeah, house in their community. I spending the 10 bucks to see yeah. a fanning movie so that they can go and then do what happened there. You yeah. Know, interesting. You can't, you can't even talk about the subject of religion in a public school because the kids are considered to be, quote, impressionable. I get mm -hmm. that a million times over. The kids are impressionable right. at that age. Well, did she become less impressionable at the age of 12? I, I, th I think also you, you really have to take this as a case-by-case -case thing because yes. this girl is definitely... Definitely kind of very mature beyond her years um, as far as an actress and uh, it seems uh, uh, life in general. She seems very intelligent uh, when you see her. Um, I think also she got uh, paid very well for that rape. <laughs> got paid very well for it? For the rape, yes. Well, I, can I mention one other thing, fellas? That, that, you know, at Sundance, they also have this movie, Zoo where it's about a real-life story of a guy from Seattle a couple of years right. ago. He, he decided to have sex with a horse. Yes, and yep. And he punctured his colon, and the guy's dead. Now, mm -hmm. well, I want to ask, and nobody's talking about it, so let me bring it up. It's all I do what talk about. What happened to the horse? Whatever happened to the horse. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Whatever happened to the horse? I mean, he put an ad out on a Craigslist. Nobody knows that the horse has actually killed a bunch of people with it. Well, well <laughs> yeah. did the horse survive? And has Peter filed a lawsuit alleging that his animal rights have been violated? And because this horse was an Arabian stallion, I want to know, does this constitute a bias crime? <laughs> Oh, God. Wow. Look, wow. See, see, I, I you're like having that. fun with it. You're having fun with Deviant Sex. You have a good sense of humor. Yeah. So? We, we've oh, learned no, that about crazy. Bill Donahue. He has a sense of humor. <laughs> Apparently but so. I, I'd like to bring up, by the way, my name's Louis C.K., and I had a show called Lucky Louis, and, and you, you issued a pre press release uh, saying a lot of negative things about my show. Uh, so I'm on the radio with you. I can't, uh, I can't not mention it. Um, I remember one thing you said. You you made a list of things that were offensive to Catholics about Lucky Louie, and one of them was an episode we did where I wanted to help my wife have an orgasm before we had. We decided not to have another child until we were having good sex and she was having an orgasm. And you list, listed that as something that's offensive to Catholics, which hmm. I don't I don't understand because a married couple trying to make sure that their sex life is is healthy before moving on to a second child. How can you have a problem with that? Did I have a problem with that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Really? According to your press release, the Reagan that's, defense, that's, I love that's, it. That's yeah. offensive to Catholics. Bill, is there anybody that ever does the press releases that, that like, you might just kind of glance over and go, all right, and then they, they kind of, uh, I mean, do you word everything accurately? Because what Louis is telling you is, is the truth. I mean, that really yep. did come out. Yep. Well, I mean, listen, I write all my own stuff, so I can't blame it on somebody else. Mm. Have, you, have you watched Lucky Louis? Uh, no, I haven't. Hmm. Well, that's, Interesting. that's odd because you wrote that thing. I, I, I quite frankly, I don't re I recall I did. Why don't you send it to me? Hmm. All right. Uh, well, you know, I'm writing about Arabian horses and bias crimes. Mm. Yeah. Well, All right. Well, uh, is it probably in your archives on the site? Because it was up there. Yeah. You wrote it, and it was not nice. When was that? Liar. <laughs> Over the summer. Over the summer. <laughs> you a liar. <laughs> Well, when the show came out in, uh, in June. Yeah, June or July. Yeah, we're, we're trying to find the actual thing here, Bill, for you. So okay. Google it, Lucky Louie Catholic. In, in, in the meantime, how is the uh, call for some type of federal investigation going? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to bother with these people. My, my whole uh, purpose here really is to create a national discussion. Uh, would the average parent uh, let their 12-year-old be uh, involved in a child rape scene if it was carefully choreographed? I don't think so. I think if the child, they knew uh, that their child was mature enough and an actress 
and knew that, uh, th you know, this isn't her first role. I think she can understand the differences between being in a movie and a life event. You know what I mean? She may be able to, but how about some of the dis uh, the disturbed men that are going to see this? Are well, we can't base our... I would see, the Bill, that's the biggest problem I have with everything in life that people complain about. We cannot base our entertainment and our lifestyle on the fact that a few people might have deviant behavior based on something they see or play a video game or something else. Why should the large percent, the majority, have to stop living their life and enjoying their life to uh, uh, because a few people might lose their mind if they see something? Well, listen, I'm raising moral objections. Again, I didn't call for a boycott, I didn't, which I could. It's a First Amendment right. Uh, I didn't call for it to be banned. I want to know that the child pornography laws, have they been broken? And they may have. I, I, don't you think there are people on set that, that really are, are there to take care of the children? and make sure things don't, don't happen. There are things, for God's sake, when the animals are on the set, they have yeah, make sure that uh, uh, the ASPCA is down there. When well, children are on set, they have tutors, they have uh, social workers. Uh, all that stuff is, is taken care of, and there are laws in place to protect the children. See, I, I don't think, believe you. I, I want to know what happened to that horse. I think that Bill is... Horse. I think the real thing is that he's trolling for stuff that's out, and he goes, uh, oh, there's a rape of a girl. I could do something with that. That sounds good. Because, no, uh, what I'm looking at is, is the hypocrisy in this country which says that, well, we, we have priests who molest kids, and that's awful, but Hollywood can celebrate it, make a buck off it. By okay, make it. <laughs> so so think, priests uh, should be allowed here. to molest kids because Dakota Fanning was depicted being oh, raped in the story. Oh, I know, it's simulated. I that's think right. one, yeah, yeah one is a movie. You know, there's definitely a difference between simulated rape of an actress and actually, the actual rape of a boy in a that's church. That's the way the law reads. As a matter mm. of fact, that there was an amendment to the law just last year, the Adam Walsh uh, law by uh, Mike uh, Pence out of uh, Indiana, and simulated sex uh, using a child is, in, in mm -hmm. fact, illegal. Right, so it's just as bad. You're hey, right. No, hey, uh, Mr. Donahue, Mr. you're not off the hook. We found the press release about Lucky Louie. Okay, what does it say? It says HBO's Lucky Louie is barbaric. Catholic League President Bill Donahue commented on last night's episode of the HBO program Lucky Louie. Blasphemy often tracks obscenity, and Lucky Louie has been obscene from the first episode, so we were due. <clears throat> and then you make a bunch of bullet points of things. That Here's a sample of the nine previous episodes, yeah. but you said about five minutes ago you've never seen Lucky Louie. Yeah. Well, you, well, the fact, you know, you know How does that happen? work? No, 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 because we have staff here look at this stuff. I can't sit around and look at this stuff, but they give me the report. Now, are yeah, those so bullets inaccurate? Why don't you read them? But, yeah, so here's one. It says, uh, Louis, the main character, is found, found blanking in the broom closet doing something oh. with himself. Which, well, yeah, I know cute. now, and that's a, a Catholics don't believe in doing that. And, that's uh, kind of cute. Yeah, uh, Louis does not want to give his wife, does not want to get his wife pregnant until they figure out a way for her to have consistent orgasms. <laughs> so, so what's wrong with that from a Catholic point of view? Hmm. Well, we we prefer them to be inconsistent. Now, look, you've got some of the bullets there that you you probably won't even want to read on the air about some of the. No, stuff well, but address this one because these are your words and you're making yeah. you're laughing. But I don't take anything you yeah, say no, about because, Dakota because, Fanning because, seriously because you don't take this seriously. Be, 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 because you, you couldn't even repeat on the air what I just said. What, what I just said there in taking out one of the, the statements. Right? We'd like to, but there are FCC regulations in place that are but way also, out of hand. This is one. It's your word. Louis does not want to get his wife pregnant until they figure out a way for her to have consistent orgasms. That's something you found objectable, uh, made, made you call my well, show it, barbaric. So tell I'm me what's barbaric it, I'm about bring, that. I'm bringing attention to something which is patently obscene, and if I have a snide remark and you can't get that kind of humor, I don't know what to do with it. Now, Bill, I, he's right, I, I don't understand I, that. Uh, yeah, he's trying to... See, Louis wants your, your reason why that's... Um, something the Catholic League would be interested in, uh, uh, well, would object to. Why is a guy and a, a husband and wife um, having a healthy sex life before they decide to get pregnant? W why is that, that a problem? Yep. Well, quite frankly, the media call me here all day long wanting to know, take, to give a moral, traditionalist view on a, on a particular subject. And so while my orbit is generally anti-Catholicism, yes, of course, we, we, we branch out into other areas when, when you deal with uh, some, something that's patently obscene. Are you, ju are you just... Zero answer. So you're pretty much just from the school of sex just for procreation? Well, 
obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm but no, no, the no, the Catholic uh, Church's teachings on that. Not, not just for pleasure. So th we, that would we, be the we problem. Don't defend adultery. Is that what you mean? We don't. No, know. Inside no, no. Of a marriage. It's inside a marriage. Inside of a marriage, two people having That's sex. That's the way it should be. Making a choice yeah. not to get pregnant until they they're having a healthy sex. That's that wrong. Would be, that, that would be in the best interest of all of every and everybody in society. All right, right, that's what the episode was about. That's what they were doing. Yes, they were married. Uh, I think you're leaving out a few things, a few ellipses here. Are no, Bill, actually, no, we're not. some of those other bullets. I have a question for you too, Bill, because you just said that a lot of times your staff will make points, but then the context is lost. If you're going to mm. quote something and say it's obscene, you should see it in context because. Um, right here, there's one you put. A 16-year-old girl offers to perform oral on Louie. Now, you're correct. That did happen. But in the episode, it was about a rebellious teenager running away. And Louie not only didn't accept it, he told his wife that he was disturbed by it. And the wife talked to the teenager and worked it out and tried to help the girl go back home. So the episode was not about being titillating or being dirty. It was about something uncomfortable that happened. And Louie, the character Louie, goes to his wife and tells her. And he we, was, we help reform the kid and send her back home. And send home. her home. It's like right. a facts of life episode. Yeah, yeah it was well, just like facts what you, what you <laughs> Here's the thing is that I thought like you say, like you say, you got, your guys watch this stuff. You don't even watch it. They prepare a statement and you say, yeah, that sounds like that's us. And then you send it out, which but to me is... It's, 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 no, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. It depends uh, on why? The, the other show. people did. <laughs> yeah, they put the words the in your show. mouth. It depends on the show and what's going on. For example, we take the view every day and we have somebody watch it. And if, the, if Rosie goes off on Catholics again, then I, obviously I come in and take a look at that little part of it. Uh -oh. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's going to get you more, more press. I, I just think that you're a press hound. I don't think you really care about the stuff you say because you wrote this. You don't How remember do you know you... about motive? Now, now you're getting into motive. Well, because you didn't watch the show and you put out this statement calling it barbaric, yeah. which is very strong do you, do, you, do, you guys actually, do you guys actually think that anybody who runs an advocacy organization, whether it's GLAD, ADL, now NAACP, mm -hmm. do you actually think that the CEO, I actually write all the news releases, do you actually think that Abe Foxman over at ADL sits around and watches TV about Jews being bad? If they write the press release, then they should no, watch they, it. You, know, you, you guys are living in another world. Yeah, but you wrote it, so you didn't watch the show, and then you wrote the release, which is dishonest. But, yeah, but you haven't found, you haven't found one thing there in that release that's inaccurate. Accurate. Yes, yeah, yes. but in context, it's dishonest. If you quote something and you quote it selectively, it can be dishonest because you're quoting it out of context. So uh, in, in the meaning, it's like if someone says, I'm going to kill you to their friend, and then you say that that was a murder threat, you're quoting them correctly, but the context you're using it in is dishonest. Right. So, well, it's, so context ask, does matter, matter well, that's what the, that's what that That's what the apologists for Dakota Fanning are saying. You have to look at the context. You do, though. Well, right, of course you should but, but you do. Everything that's is what we're it, in well, context. Well, the last temptation... Wait, I'm sorry. Is is uh, uh what was the movie with uh, uh the Christ recently that was, uh, is the passion. passion of the Christ uh, a movie that advocates violence because there was violence whipping Christ or in the context of the crucifixion is that violence acceptable to show in a movie? Well, there's no question about it. it's acceptable. Well, then why it's is the con historical story? Right. So then why is the context there acceptable and not considered a violent or a gratuitously violent oh, film? We really have to have all this discussion about uh, oral sure, if you're and everything bring else, it. and these girls coming onto the guy, right? No, no, Bill. Bill, that's I, really important. I'm talking. Oh, so let's just say, of course it is. Con of in context, girls leave in their homes because they're confused and living in a violent place, and then offering oral sex to other men and and finding out that that was a mistake from a responsible adult is important. We and it's relevant. It's, it's it extremely is relevant. relevant. And you don't know that because you didn't watch the show, and yet you wrote this. I don't know what it was. Look, have you seen uh, Dakota Fanning yet? No, but that's why I wouldn't comment on it. I wouldn't have my organization, if I well, had one, say anything well, well, about it until I saw it. Isn't that interesting? It was about a year ago. The, the, the media kept telling us, you don't have to see the depictions of Muhammad because we've made, it, we've made up our, your minds for you. We think it's offensive. But because that's of the nothing to do with what we're talking and about. Bill, I agree with that. Let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> give you one example. If, you just, just imagine this. A, right. a, a white guy is mm. performing oral sex on a mm. statue of Martin Luther King with Ooh, an erection. Yeah. Now, do you have to actually see it in order to find out that it's Ugly? Uh, no, there's a, there's a well, like, depending on the context, that could be oh, very interesting. The of oh, course, well, the context. That, Bill, the, the context of that, by the way, is your bizarre imagination. Yeah, Bill, come on. Yeah, you you're so I love the guys who say, what if some guy 
performed uh, yeah. on. What, how, how would you like that? I don't know. I'm What's glad, your problem? You're you even explain, picturing that. Why don't you explain to African Americans what, what, what the context is? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a context. It never happened. I would here. absolutely give you a context of how that would go over. If oh, it was really? on, if it was on an episode of the Dave Chappelle Show when that sure. was on, in some type of comedy sketch, sure. uh, it would be completely accepted by the black community. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I I do. I, uh, yep. Well, well, well I don't not think by not no no. That. There would be certain people that would be outraged, but the majority. Uh, would find it hysterical. Uh, uh, Dave I, Chappelle. I, I, Dave Chappelle put out a lot of material that was uh, very uh, ra would have been racist yes. if it was the other way around. I think I, I beg to differ. I think you're totally wrong on that. Blacks should be outraged and rightfully. But even you made up the whole thing. They made it, it up. Never Bill. happened. And I know they're making a case you, you, on you, something you made up. You keep dancing around this whole question of context. We're not. No, dancing, we're not. We're talking about things that actually have context, and you're dancing around them by creating false things that don't have context what? in reality. An analogy. What's that? I have to give you an analogy. But no, you don't ridiculous. have to. You can actually talk about the thing we're talking about. The first time we raised this just to get your reaction on your own words, your f only reaction was, well, I don't know, because I didn't see it. Somebody else watched it and told me what was on it, and then yeah, I you just read some of the up. bullets. It seems to me that that was sufficient. Yeah, but, uh, HBO's I, lucky he is barbaric. All they're saying is I think that they think you should at least watch the thing. All right, I don't want to take over your show with this, but I think this guy is full of baloney. Well, Louie, uh, he, he knocked Let your show, know. and you had every every uh, right to uh, know, to talk to him about our show. I'm glad we, we watch what you like, Louie, and I, I, you got a very interesting uh, picture on life, I'll tell you that. But no, you, you, you well, can't, the context discussion does well. matter, Bill, because <laughs> to bash something is barbaric when you took the complete opposite intention of the show, which was a Well, because a you didn't watch it. That's, that's what's wrong with being the president of an organization and saying a, a very strong and out of context uh, a statement about it without having seen the show yourself. Well, it's irresponsible. Is, it, That's it, kind of disturbing it, it, that you haven't seen the show. And then nice you write the Lucky Louie likes uh, the child rape movie. That's what I like. Oh, see, you're oh, just a, you're that's the next moron. statement. That's you're the next idiot. That's the next statement in the press yeah, release. You're an idiot. Lucky you, you, Louie likes unable child to, rape. You're unable to discuss it. You can't defend your own words. Fanny, you're Fanny full of it. Flick balk worse than bite. Yes, what? there's a rape scene, and it goes on about there's no nudity, just seeing her underwear and whatnot. So oh what? You please, didn't see it. Please. No, you didn't see it. You don't watch the stuff my you comment God. about. Uh, what you a just, stretch. You just, you, you, you're totally uncredible. You're not, yeah, you're not yeah, interesting. You, you know, quite frankly, every movie that comes down the pike that that slams the Catholic Church, you like. There's no question about it. No, that's not also, true. No, that's not like, true. And you also like. You don't that. know what I like. Well, I, I certainly do. I know you like this movie. He likes no, men, you don't. Bill. I didn't see the movie. You, you, you blockhead. You seen it. You <laughs> I didn't see it. I got. I'm not even interested in it. I'm not even talking about it. I'm talking about my show that you slammed, and are unwilling to stand behind your slams because they came from not even watching the show. They came from being president of the Catholic League and wanting it <laughs> attention. You just want attention. Well, I tell you, you certainly gave it to me, didn't you? Yeah, I did because you pooed on my show. You think? <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Bill. Oh, also, by the way, Catholics are wrong about God. Let me just throw that in. <laughs> hey, it's the only true religion, my friend. You it burn in. You burn in hell. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna have a ball there. <laughs> All right. All right, Bill. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, and uh, uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep tabs on the news and see what uh, pops up about this whole thing. I'll have to try and keep it in context. Yeah, keep exactly. it in context, yeah. Bill. And go All find right. that horse. Learn something. Good. All right. Maybe go see the movie. Take it easy. All right. There he goes. Bill Donahue from the Catholic oh, League. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Uh, effing O. Wow. Louie just completely called him out on that, and there really wasn't an answer. That you see, the thing is, I would have been totally happy to debate him about it, because, yeah. look, every one of these points... From a religious standpoint, he might have a point on if it. I was really interested and if in your name it. is on it, you had better be familiar with it. Totally right. interested in hearing his. If he had said, "Yeah, no, you shouldn't be giving your wife an orgasm," I'd like to hear the right. Catholic point of view on that. That's interesting. But he didn't. He just said, "I don't, that, I don't watch stuff that I write about." And uh, the 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 one line uh, uh, subject matter of the show that Jimmy pointed out was a perfect example yes, of you. context. How yeah. when it's written like that, it's out. This is a gratuitous scene with a young girl, impressionable, and sexual activity with an older man. And, and meanwhile, the whole thing was about you, you know, getting upset by the whole situation yeah. and yeah. taking care of it. And, you know, yeah. 
Oh, and, but ta- but taken out of context. And then when when he came up with the context of his imagination, <laughs> <laughs> it just blew the whole thing apart. He's what got a great it? imagination, oh, though. God. Wow, huh? Where did that come <laughs> from? How great is it that he goes? I don't, I never saw the show. I don't remember writing that. And then we got it right here in front of us. <laughs> exactly. I mean, no, that's what these guys do, though. If you give them something that's in reality, that yeah. they shouldn't have said, they come back with something that doesn't exist and say, what about this? I want to know how you get a what statue of that? Martin Luther King to, in that state, yeah. and then, in the state of arousal. And then he <laughs> decides what other people would have thought of it. Yeah. Right. Like, that's his only way to argue back. Yeah, well, I bet if I killed your mother, you would get all weird. Let's <laughs> look. <And you, laughs> well, I guess I would. I'm not sure. <laughs> in the right context. Yeah. Also, these, go ahead, Jimmy. Go. And these hilarious Lucky Louie episodes on DVD the 30th. Oh, that's right. The 30th nice plug. January. That's next right. week. Next, we, uh, what, Tuesday? Let's sign a copy and send it to Bill Donahue. Yeah. Go ahead. He hey, probably would uh, enjoy watch watching. Also, let's not forget that the great Louis C.K. called Bill yes. Donahue from the Catholic League a blockhead. A blockhead. <laughs> You, you, he was, he was stumbling over curse words, and he goes, you, but, well, blockhead. Because he wanted to make sure people heard that he, ins- yes. you know, called him a name, so he's like searching for something oh. that would make sense Yo, on God. regular radio. <laughs> nice oh. little rascal's insult. You, <laughs> you, wait to get over you, to XM. You, you blockhead. You can, dink. We, can we please call him from XM so I can try again? <laughs> Just to unload. Painful. It was like he moved the football when you were trying to kick it. <laughs> exactly. uh, we uh, gotta take a break. All right. We'll do that. Louis C.K., yes, uh, Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. <laughs> Is it Tuesday already? Wow. Yeah, this nice. is coming Tuesday. Yep. Very exciting. Already for pre-sale on Amazon. You can already go try it. Oh, go to Amazon and then... Yeah. And Watch it and burn in hell. And, pre- and do yeah. some pre-sale. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. I just got wowed. It was great. I'm not supposed to talk about it, though. I got to go now. Introducing the Opie and Anthony Wow Line. If you get wowed, we want to hear about it. Call 866-WOW-ME-05. That's 866-WOW-ME-05. And tell us all about it. And if your message isn't too stupid, we might just play it on the air. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Ah, Louis C.K. in studio on the Opie and Anthony Show. That was a lot of fun to listen to. You guys with uh, Bill Donahue from the Catholic League. Oh. Don't forget Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. And I got to mention yesterday, we, we, on time we had Ricky Gervais do a great hour with us. We forgot to mention his website, rickygervais.com, from The Office, the British version of The Office. And, uh, you know, we had a wonderful time with him. Man, was he a blast. How he old sure was. Guys, hysterical. And uh, there, somebody, who is it? No Filter Paul sent me um, some uh, a website. That featured his band from 1983, and he looks like David Bowie with black hair. Yeah, you look at him now, and you know this guy from The Office. Yeah, and, and he looks like a girl. <laughs> He's like very feminine looking. Mm. He's pretty. <laughs> He's pretty. That's what my girlfriend said. You'd have she, to call him I go, pretty. I go, guess who this is? And she she couldn't. And I go, that's Ricky Gervais. And, and she was like, oh, my God, he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Tom. Tom, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, Tom. Uh, I hope Bill Donnie's uh, staff down there at the Catholic League has a good claw hammer to uh, detach his sack from the wall. You nailed it, Louie. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch it out, boys. Uh, poor, yeah, he was blindsided. It, it just came together. We were going to have Bill uh, Donahue on the show today. Lucky Louie was stopping in as well. I had no, uh, uh, Louis C.K. was stopping in. I had no idea that uh, he yeah, wrote all he that stuff about you, so yeah. it worked out I perfect. love when that happened. I heard his name, and I was like, oh, that guy. Yeah. What yeah. A nice the, opportunity. I Remember too, before you even, because Louis held up a sign that said, "This guy trashed our show." Yes. And uh, I remember before you even said that, I was like, I, "Boy, I, I think I remember him coming into conversation not yeah. liking Lucky Louis." Yeah, yeah, no, and uh, like I was saying, I, if he had uh, responded to the things he said and backed them up, I would have had a civil conversation with him. I wanted to yeah. find out why he said them and, and debate it. Because he has a right to those feelings. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. I mean, it's a religion. But he's just, oh, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Somebody watched it for me. There's a and staff. by the way, what if somebody had oral sex with a with a um, with a Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King what? statue? And, Where did that come and from? And Dakota Fanning can get raped, then we should be able to have sex with boys. Uh, <laughs> like, it just made no right. sense. It was a wild and woolly conversation. 
<laughs> he must have had a hell of a youth with that imagination. <laughs> you, you know, alone at night in his bed. I he, know. Here's what he, the problem is. He's got some great scenarios. He uh, he he has a sense of humor. You can tell yeah, totally. to some point. But when when other people like staffers are writing stuff and he's signing off on it, he wields a lot of power. Mm -hmm. The guy is the guy. Believe me, that got us fired. Mm -hmm. It was the Catholic League's input to uh, Infinity Broadcasting that got us thrown off the air. Uh, regardless of if you agree that they, we should have been thrown off the air or not, I don't even want to get into that. Um, he's the guy that did it, though. Yep. It, he wields too much power to, just on a signature, be able to um, have people you know, condemned. Well, and the thing about the Catholics is that my grandmother's Catholic, and uh, she'll anything that she's told to believe that has Catholic written on it, mm -hmm. she goes, "Oh, okay." There you because go. they're very, they're very devout people, and they're very loyal to their faith. They don't question anything. Yep. So if you put something out, they're going to believe it. So that, yeah, that makes him, you know, very. You know, tough. I I knew this family um, growing up that was strict Catholic, ridiculous Catholic, where. They would, the mother would read the newspaper, uh, the Catholic newspaper, f when we wanted to go out to the movies. They had uh, like a bevy of beautiful daughters in this house. So us as young guys were like yeah. in our teens, we used to just pile over that house and try sure. to take the daughters out. So we'd go to the movies with them. And she would look through the Catholic Digest and check the rating for the movie. And some of them were condemned. It was like this movie condemned. This movie and, is excommunicated. Wow. Yeah, we would have to pick a movie right. that was acceptable from that. Meanwhile, we never went to the movies. No. We would go and have just ridiculous <laughs> sex in parks and <laughs> schoolyards. And everything. It didn't matter as long as the movie we said we were you, going to. I don't want you pretending to see this movie exactly. while you're having oral, oral with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly so Catholic. It. That's so beautifully it's Catholic. It's typical. And of course she knows. I yeah. mean, she's not. In, she knows yeah. that you're doing that. Exactly. She just doesn't want it done while pretending to see the wrong. I'm. Movie. I'm pretending that you're going to this movie. Uh, everything. As long as the story lines up, you're seeing a nice movie that I won't even think about. And they used to go, "Hey, take take our car because they had the station wagon." I can't tell you how many of me, my friends, my brother, oh all the sisters, God. just in, in these car, this car, their own car. It was like that, that 70s. Show type um, station wagon right, with a putt paneling. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, hey, uh, Fred's in the background here. I hear Brooklyn. him giggling. Yeah, Fred, what's oh, up? Man. Hey guys, I adore you guys, man. Hey Louis, beautiful pie in the face, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what hypocrisy and what power he's been wielding for so long uh, with such limited information? Yeah. How many people has he uh, tried, probably destroyed careers and never even seen? Or, or heard what they put out. Yeah. Just had mm -hmm. man. Beautiful timing. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And you gotta love that he called him a blockhead. Incredible. <laughs> That's my make favorite me laugh all insult day. of the day. He was searching, 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 yeah. and he oh. came up with Blockhead! Oh, Why, crazy. you blockhead? Uh, yeah. I ought to <laughs> make us. Glad you, didn't, glad you didn't threaten to give him a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Up your nose with a rubber hose. Yeah, there Still you go. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we could we could oh. so do another hour, but we got to get out of here and get over to XM. Got to go over to Potty Mouth Central. Two more hours. <laughs> no blockhead over there. Remind us about John and Jeff. Those are great. Ah, yes. And how the station here in New York has decided to take our words and make it look like we're endorsing that program <laughs> Twist now. Twist them around. Oh, we'll get into that tomorrow. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, the kid that got kicked off the flight, the three-year-old. That would have been a good one. Bravo to the... Like the crew. I think we'll just go and do that over at XM. That's what yeah, we do. Maybe. Hey, if you're not joining us over there, have have yourself a great day, all right? Uh, oh, oh, Louis C.K., Lucky Louis, on DVD, this January coming Tuesday. 30. You can buy it now on Amazon. Yeah, pre-order it, man. Yeah, very cool. Thanks, guys. Damn it, man. We gotta change the intro. <laughs> no, we don't. That I, model thing. I know. It's, it's, I don't want to hear that line anymore. I remember when you said it, and it just like I don't know why it's the, the the beauty of it just hit me one day. I was thinking of it. It was just yeah. so fucking obnoxious. Oh. It's perfect. Do you know I could have been a model? Yeah. Oh, that has to stay. Yeah. That should be the whole intro. Just that line over and over again. Louis C.K. has joined us here over at XM. Hello. Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. That's right. In the uh, intro to this version of the show, yeah, they, they, it's Opie, Anthony, Jim, and then there's a little snippet from the show. 
And someone was getting under my skin so bad one day, the, the best I could come up with was to scream as loud as I can with passion, do you know I could have been a model? <laughs> Yeah. Did you mean it? Was it a real feeling? <laughs> oh. It couldn't have been anything but. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Despicable. And now we're finally breaking it down. It's been part of the intro for a long time. It's like, I'm such a douche. Like, I'm, I'm basically telling everyone how lucky they are to have me. <laughs> so awesome. it's, it's, the modeling world was calling, and I decided, no, I need to be a shock jock. <laughs> You're awesome. lucky bastards. Just, I might not uh, be here to entertain you. <laughs> right. Uh. It just struck me as funny one day. I'm like, oh, it's awful. It was just such a moment of like just something that had to be said finally being said sure yeah well <laughs> hey uh, well. The, the dump report is very very funny today yeah let's uh get a little look see at that looks like uh old bill donahue's a a potty mouth potty mouth he got yeah. some dumps it's it's fun when you could uh read the dumps of the president of the catholic league 8 17 a.m a child being penetrated yeah mm. bill donahue from the catholic league had to talk about that one with um tom on the way down uh, and I was saying that would have been great to leave that because could you imagine if we got an FCC complaint based on that? Right. Yeah. And it would have been him. It yeah. Been... The press, what we would have had to say, yeah, we got a complaint. Um, the FCC wants to fine us $320,000 because of something that the Catholic League president <laughs> said on our show. How great would that and be? And he was talking the... about penetrating a, uh. a child. You should have, because then you would have gotten to put out a press release that says, we we ourselves were shocked. Shocked <laughs> by the language. Disgusting man, we'll never have him on again. Yeah. As we were adhering to FCC regulations, <laughs> uh, the Catholic League president blurted out, We do not condone no. the words of this disgusting no. individual. Our fault was... Think he should ass- step down immediately. <laughs> Our fault was assuming that he'd behave... Yeah, oh we thought we'd God. give the dump guy a break. Like, that's the what could possibly you happen leave in. with the president of the Catholic League? The Catholic League. Oh, yeah. Who's going to complain? 8.13 oh, a.m., a guy performs oral sex on a Mar- uh, Martin Luther King statue with an erection. Holy shit. Bill Donahue again. Nowhere. What the fuck was he thinking about? <laughs> and, dude, by the way, brilliant example by Anthony, because I was trying to think where would that be acceptable. Mm-hmm. And, and Donahue was wrong in that on Chappelle's show, on what context, say Chappelle was doing a funny a sketch about how well, white people always want to know what they can do to make black people happy right. for the way they treated us. Here's a start. Black people would not be enraged about that. A few might no. be, but the a majority few would be. Yeah. Like, like uh, uh, what, what movie was that? Barbershop? Some people got upset at the... Rosa the, Parks. We were talking about Rosa trashing. Parks. Yeah. Trash in, our, in the barbershop. Right. Uh, and it was only a few black people that got upset with it. Yeah, and also but by the most upset. part... They were they were loving it because they were paying money in droves going to see the movie. That's right. No, I was working with Cedric when that movie was made. He's the one that said the remarks. And most people, that's what black people are, are a lot of black people are tired of being told that they revere these figures. Right. And a lot right. of them are like, oh, those fuck, fuck those shit. old fucking niggers. I'm tired of them. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, yeah. The f- thing is that uh, Jesse Jackson doesn't get doesn't speak for even I don't even think that many black people. Yeah. So no, no, whatever. So it's, it's but like, it's just funny that that's what he has nothing on his side. So he goes, well, what about that thing I just made up of uh, somebody that out. blowing Martin Luther King? Like, what's going to feel head? about that? I got to well, jump in really fast because Joey from Howard Beach has a great idea. Oh, okay. Guys, you should put out a press release with uh, all of Bill Donahue's quotes taken out of context. <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> right? Uh, we didn't actually hear the show. All right. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what he so said weird. was this. But, but yeah. here, and here is the audio. Martin Luther King. Well, I think blacks ought to be outraged by his uh, right. depiction of Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. And here's the funny thing about, like, um, wow, did my thought just go away. <laughs> Dude, you're a goldfish. Oh, my man. God. I, really <laughs> are, but, no, I, I had a thought. And I, I was thinking about his idea, and, like, I'm uh, enjoying his idea you about the at press something release. Pretty. You know what? Wow. It's, Even if you it, weren't on the radio, that would have been retarded. Oh, yeah. It's okay, because you're in love. But yeah. I, I know what happens love. when you're in I, love. I love that right. you were looking at me, though, because I saw the whole process. I saw so Jimmy go, yeah, go uh, and then there was that s- silence, and then he just kind of looked at me like, oh, my God, oh, I, my. I have no recollection. <laughs> eyes went blank. It was um, like the, watching a guy die in a movie <laughs> just, yeah. with his eyes open. The Terminator. <laughs> you're terminated, fucker, and my eyes just went black. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to come over and slowly shut his eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sad. Hey, we got to get this in because, uh, come on, it's the truth. Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris, what's up? Hey, uh, 
I just wanted to call and kiss Louis C.K.'s ass. The HBO <laughs> special was amazing, and uh, the comment about sitting on Jeff's ass while he masturbated. <laughs> oh, my name God. Is Jeff. Thanks, and man. I Okay, bye. Thanks I uh, I was just telling Louie, I, w- I watched it twice. It was I watched it when it first came on, and then I'm going through the channels, and you're about ten minutes in, and I just stopped and watched it again. Oh, it's, thanks, man. It's so fucking funny. Uh, you, you take on stuff. It's not like, you know, you can see a few comics, and, and, you know, they might touch on some of the same stuff mm-hmm. or this, that. So original, so fucking oh, thanks, funny. Man. That time machine shit, I... Almost fucking pissed myself because <laughs> no one, like everyone thinks of that stuff, but you gave it such a great unique twist. Oh, thanks. Like man. this dopey conversations. You yeah, know, what just, would you do if you had a time machine? Yep. And then you always got to chime in. Yeah. And it's always the other guy that wants to say what he'd do with it, so he's got to <laughs> present it in the form of a question. Yeah. It's so fucking good, man. Such oh, a great thanks, take man. on it. I'd go back 30 minutes and punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, He's got a different look, which is very refreshing. Yeah. Louis, Louis is a great uh, clarifier of points. Like this is what yep. like, I, I get lost in, a, in an emotion of something. You get lost in trying lot. to remember a line you just had in your head. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. <laughs> but, but he's a great clarifier of points. Like yes, that's exactly. I, if yeah. I was not a dumb motherfucker. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, let's go to DC. Thanks, what's up? Uh, what's up with DC today, Nico? Uh, what's going on, guys? Hey. Love the show. Listen every day. Hey, uh, I'd like to comment on Louis, Louis C.K. calling Bill Donahue not only a blockhead, but you missed the best quote. You called him a fucking dink. I did hear that, a dink. I called him a dink, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I grew up with that being a bad thing to call somebody. Yeah, People not. it's not just like that. some kind of Asian you dink thing. No, yeah, it's like well, calling somebody a dink. dink. Yeah, it's a dick dork. Yeah. He is a kind dick. of thing. <clears throat> He's uh, also a faggot cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're over here. Uh, XM. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> God bless XM. We we do blurt out things or things, mm. again, the context, taken mm. out of context. Of uh, they have clips of us saying stuff, you know. Horrific. Oh, things. and then that cock in my mouth. Yeah. Now they have that. That's right. See? <laughs> but out of context, you know, I think if God met Bill Donahue, he'd shit right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in or out of context. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it just makes me mad because of my grandma, my stupid Mexican and Catholic grandmother who listens to dorks like that. Yeah. 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 Somebody, they, too much power, man. Yeah. Too much power. We were, we were laughing on the walkover because uh, Jimmy was talking about kind of, you weren't defending Bill no, Donahue. Well, no. But you were kind of saying that it's, uh, I don't know, you, you you didn't give him enough credit for having as much power as he has. Well, he was saying well, he's, he's a, a funny problem. guy and he's a guy yeah. who, would, no. who, who will reverse himself. I think right, he'll reverse point, himself. Though. That's what you said. Yes. He'll reverse himself. And I, I said that's all well and fine, but he wields too much mm-hmm. power. He he destroys lives and and livelihoods. And I brought up the point that Hitler would probably have been a pisser in a bar yeah. as the painter. You know, you get a few drinks in this guy, <laughs> yeah. and he'll go that's, off on the Jews. That's what yeah, that's what you were saying because that's what Hitler was. He was a beer mm-hmm. hall yeah. nut. And people would get him drunk, and he'd stand up there and say, "The Jews!" And they would all bang their mugs. Ah, and go, this, this guy's guy. fucking great. Listen to him. And then some guy that used to watch him at beer halls reads the paper. What the fuck? He's Chancellor? <laughs> what are you nuts? <laughs> he was fuck? funny. It was funny. He said, "Kill the Jews." It was awesome. We'd laugh our asses off, yeah. finish our beers, yeah. go home. Now this guy's running the show? <laughs> are you crazy? Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of the Bill Donahue thing. Is like, yeah. It's fine when he's making jokes about horses fucking guys up the ass and killing them, but then when he's putting out press day, uh, a release, a cross on it. getting people, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The Davy and Goliath fucking logo yeah. at the end of the show on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I agree with you. You're right. But I'm saying, like, if you look at, like, whether it's Muslims or Jew, any religious guy like that uh-huh. is awful and pious. Yeah. yeah. At least with him. Anyone else running the Catholic League, you're going to get a guy who is religious and self-right. You can't avoid that. Stuff shirt. But at least with him, you do have the other angle where he will, he will come back and go, all right, look, I didn't see it. Like, you know what, though? If, that with if he had argued about the points, I would have had no... As a matter of fact, right. I prefer a guy who has those beliefs and puts out a statement and says, this is what our religion's position is on this, to a guy... I mean, imagine a Muslim guy like the guy who said, uh, whatever, somebody makes a fatwa on the Danish cartoonist, right, and you right. call him up and he goes, oh, I didn't see the guy. Cartoon. I just. Uh, what I don't really look at these things. I. Uh, I just signed off on his death warrant. <laughs> yes, that's all. It just was a. Uh, 
Uh, I, you know, I don't think Bill Donahue reads, uh, looks at his thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, by think? the way, what if someone sucked off George Bush in a, um, at a, in an Easter parade? How would you like that? <laughs> you would have his head cut off. Yeah, I you? bet you guys would, you hypocrites. Um, <laughs> God damn, that is fucking funny. And Martin Luther King had an erection too. Yeah, the, it's just uh, it's just an amazing imagination from that I, guy. It came yeah. out of his head. He didn't even have to think about that one. He didn't have to go. Okay, let me come up with a horrific um, little scenario for you. Give me a minute. I gotta think. It was just. Let's say Martin Luther King's being sucked off by a white guy on the... What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You sure can't come up with him, Bill. 